This is the real-time stats bar. It gives you a snapshot of your channel's performance at a glance without going into your YouTube analytics. In this example, it's showing your channel's total views over the last 60 minutes and your total subscribers. Mouse over the stats and it will show you more detail, plus more metrics such as watch time over the last seven days. To add any of these to the stats bar itself, simply click the checkbox. Pretty cool, right? Now I've got your attention, let's explore some more. This percentage is the likes to dislikes ratio on a video. It's a snapshot of how much viewers like a video before you even watch it. Although do remember that dislikes don't necessarily mean a bad video, it could mean a difference of opinion. This number will appear next to all videos that publicly display their likes and dislikes. Mouse over the number and you'll get an exact count of the likes and dislikes on a video. When you watch something on YouTube, you'll see this comprehensive video scorecard. It's divided up into several sections, each of which you can minimize if you wish, or if you want to hide the whole thing, use the master control at the top. Tabs at the very top of the screen take you through the historical performance of a video, its social reach on Twitter, and what similar videos are trending right now. All of these tools can be used to research every single video on YouTube. To cover a few highlights of this scorecard, it will show you extra data if it is one of your own videos. The SEO score grades the value of the metadata added to the video through the title, description and tags, and how well it all performs on YouTube. The closer to 100 the score, the more optimized the video is. Many of these panels offer extra information by the way if you mouse over them, so make sure to investigate for more data. This tool lets you compare the performance of the video you are watching against other metrics, for example the average performance of videos for the entire channel. In this example, the video really underperformed at first, but picked up steam over the first 28 days of its life. That suggests this is evergreen content. You can then use the drop down to compare the video you're watching against another channel, your channel, or any other video on YouTube. And finally, if a creator has done their keyword research, it's very likely that they've added it to their video tags, which are shown here. Thanks to this paperclip button, you can copy all of this valuable information and add it to your own research. Oh, and if you're wondering what these numbers mean, this is where the video you are currently watching ranks on YouTube for that search term, and this is vidIQ's keyword score. To learn more on what that means, keep watching. On a YouTube search results page, this panel down the right hand side shows you loads of interesting data. Of course, if it is all a little too overwhelming, you can hide it. This search term data can show you how often videos for this search get recycled as well as a creator that appears most often in the search rankings. Chances are they're doing the right things and you need to watch their content. Remember that keyword score I told you about earlier? Well, this is its source. It combines the volume of the search term against the volume of content on YouTube. Think of it as supply and demand. Ideally, you as a creator want to make content for a search term in demand with little competition. The closer this keyword score is to 100, the more opportunity there is for you to rank highly. Another really cool thing that vidIQ shows you is a channel's subscriber count. Why is this useful? Well, take a look at this channel with just 6,000 subscribers. It's found a way to rank for one of the most competitive search terms on YouTube. Fortnite, to the tune of a quarter of a million views. Research what they did and you may be able to repeat their success. Now, if you want to go deep into keyword research, this is the toggle for you. It reveals all of the tags for a video. While it is true that video tags aren't as important as they used to be, keyword research still is, so that you know how to pitch your content to the right audience. As before, there is a handy paperclip to copy the tags, but what you can also do is click on an individual video tag. Now you can research the keyword universe that surrounds the topic and the videos that are trending today. Again, you'll see the keyword score as a point of reference and you can highlight any keywords of interest to copy and use for your own content. Put yourself in the mind of your target audience. 
What do they search for on YouTube? Use these tools to help you find out those answers before you even press record. If you want to dig a little more into a specific channel, from their homepage you can use the stats button to look at a snapshot of the channel's current performance. The trending button shows you what content on the channel is performing well right now as it sorts videos by views per hour. This can reveal key insights into content that was created months, even years ago that's still popular with the YouTube audience today. It's another sign of evergreen content. Dig a little deeper to reveal the keywords this creator uses on their channel. Of course, this is a somewhat chaotic reflection of a tech-heavy channel, so you can press the download button next to the copy button and all of these words are converted into a CSV data file showing you how often this creator uses the keywords in videos and once again that keyword score. One more power tool for you to try now, the CSV export will download all the public data for a channel if you want to go through the numbers with a very, very fine tooth comb. Let's take a look now at these tools down the left hand side. The competitors tool allows you to keep tabs on creators who do similar things to you. If they are having success in a topic you make content about, you need to know about it in order to create your own. You can adjust the time frame of the videos shown here and how the videos are sorted, whether it be views per hour, total views or date uploaded. As with a channel page, you can view the keywords that these creators are using. If several creators are using the same keywords, it's more evidence that you really need to dig into the keyword research that surrounds it. Think of the competitor tool as an alternative subscription list for when you're in creator mode. You can use the add competitor button on a channel page to add it to your list. Alternatively, if you're watching a video and you want to add a channel to your competitor list, click the vidIQ tool button and do it directly from there. Trend Alerts tracks keywords you want to follow on YouTube. By setting up filters, you can track when videos that contain a certain keyword trigger a views per hour threshold and then email you the result. In this example, we have set up a very simple trend alert for videos about the iPhone. When new videos on the iPhone get over 100 views per hour over a certain time period, an email is sent straight to your inbox so you can start investigating, start researching and get creating if you think you can add value to that keyword and the conversation at large. We all know what YouTube's trending page does and doesn't do, right? So what if you had a tool that simply showed you the most viewed videos on YouTube right now, period. A tool that you could then filter down to the most viewed Fortnite videos on YouTube. And then a tool that could show you the most viewed Fortnite videos on YouTube from channels with less than a thousand subscribers. That's an example of the detailed precision that the most viewed tool is capable of, plus a whole lot more. Moving on to the YouTube studio now, on the video manager screen, this vidIQ tool button presents a range of bulk options for you. We've already seen what the CSV export can do, but these additional tools let you edit content. For example, it can load up a list of filter videos where you can edit titles and descriptions on the fly. You can also mass edit video info cards and video end screens all from this pop-up screen, rather than jumping into each video individually to make the changes. If you have hundreds of videos on your channel, which many creators do, this can literally save you many, many hours of repetitive work. But that's not the only tool vidIQ has. Mouse over any video to reveal a second button that lets you do even more. For example, you can copy the info cards or end screens from one video and transfer them to one, many or all of your other videos in seconds. Imagine how long it would take to do all of this manually. There are more tools that lie beneath this button too, including a quick thumbnail editor from the video manager screen. In short, you'll find this button dotted around YouTube once you have vidIQ installed and depending on where you are, it does different things. So click it and find out what you can do. The following tools are available both when you upload or edit a YouTube video. Imagine if you could compare the quality of your video title and thumbnail before you even publish your video live on YouTube. Well, this preview tool shows you how your video compares to other videos that already rank for a search term. 
Does your video pop versus a competition? This is your opportunity to find out before you press publish. You can also compare how it would look on a YouTube home screen, as well as desktop and mobile views. When is the best time to publish your YouTube video? Well, the answer is different for all creators, but this tool will provide you with some insight into that question. It observes your subscribers' activity on YouTube, such as when they subscribe to channels and when they like videos. With that information, vidIQ can tell you when your audience is on YouTube. You can then schedule your content to go live when your audience is at its peak. Now, remember earlier on when you saw the SEO score on a video watch page? Well, this is the same SEO score for your video, and it can help you optimize your video's title, description, and tags, so it has more discoverability on YouTube. The second tab on this panel is your video checklist, ticking off all of the things you should be doing to give your video the greatest chance of success. And to make sure you avoid demonetization or restricted ads on your videos, we'll just let you know if words you include in your titles, descriptions, or tags might be cause for possible concern for potential advertisers. Whenever you feed keywords into your titles, descriptions, and tags, vidIQ will churn the data in the background, and it won't be long before you start to see suggestions for your titles and descriptions. These are all based off of what is performing well on YouTube today. And you'll find that once you reach the tag box at the bottom of the upload or video editor page, vidIQ has hundreds of recommendations, each of which you can add to your metadata with the simple click of a mouse button. It is true that tags aren't as important as they used to be, but when they're this easy to add, it's a no brainer. You may have noticed that YouTube occasionally provide auto responses to comments, but what if you could create your own template replies, which are tailored to the questions you always get asked on your channel, and each of them is personalized to include the commenter's name that you can then use to instantly reply with. Yep, that's another one of those vidIQ buttons with pretty much unlimited community power. If you want an instant YouTube school report card, then the channel audit tool is for you. It shows you a snapshot of your channel followed by segmented metrics grouped together for videos that are performing well right now, videos with the most views, watch time, and more. You can click on any of these lists to show you tons more information too. The idea behind this tool is to show you at a glance what's working on your channel and encourage you to make more of the stuff that your audience really wants to watch. And that's not all. The channel audit tool also shows you how people are discovering your content through search terms, how successful your end screens and info cards are, what's not working on your channel, and all of the little odd jobs you might need to fix on your channel. For example, if you have forgotten to add a video to a playlist, this is how quickly you can fix it. You're always aiming towards a new goal, or maybe you've just hit a YouTube milestone. Either way, the achievements tool is going to tell you exactly where you are on your journey. At the very top, it will predict your next big milestone and when you're likely to reach it. Your latest YouTube achievements are listed next, followed by your top performing months on YouTube. What makes this tool even more incredible is that you can click on any of the achievements you've already reached and vidIQ will automatically generate a certificate you can print out or share socially online. As you can see, many creators already love to do this and with vidIQ, so can you. We are creator obsessed at vidIQ, as you can see. So let us, educate you on your YouTube journey.